What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play campaign as Mexico. So to run off happened last time, um, captured a few Spanish ships over here, fell back, and then I sent them up here, sent the same navy up here to attack a Spanish convoy, um, troop carrying convoy, and I lost a few ships because it auto resolved it, which isn't ideal. Um, anyway, so the plan is to let this unit frontiersman to uh, replenish, then to move on to Grand Columbia and knock them out of the game. Then following on from this, we'll probably be declaring on Russia. Russia is Grand Columbia's ally at the moment. So they may be dragged into the war anyway. Nevertheless, let's crack on. I'm still generally conforming to the idea of secure northern coast of South America. No. I don't want to ally with you, because my troops are on your border. Oh yes, the Spanish navy just broke themselves against the Quebec blockading fleet. Perfect. No provinces are inter still interfering with my trade with Britain. It's rather frustrating. <laughs> Yes, I need to capture New Andalusia so I can get a upgrade naval board to increase my naval strength. I need to push, push lots of um, mining research because New Colombia, or I'm sorry, Mexico, sorry, is a very wealthy mining region, and so is Bogota. That is also a very wealthy mining region. Let's take New Andalusia, there's a gem mine, and then once I start to declare one of the major powers, I'm starting to open up more of the, the Caribbean as potential bits. Russia. It is unfortunate I'm going to declare on Russia, but I'm hoping when I declare war on them and capture their territory, that we can either declare peace, or they'll just leave me alone. Trade agreement counts with Prussia, which is fine. Um, we're going to be declaring war on their allies soon anyway. Um, no, don't want any of that. Barbary states won't take my money. They will if I give them money, and I'm not going to do that because everyone, everyone, everyone raids the Barbary states. Why did I even entertain that? Will you just ask for territory? No, you did just take it. Cool. Considering you are, oh, and it gets me a bit of line of sight onto the U.S. coast. But importantly, what are you building? I see they are being pushed back by the United States. So they're probably not going to trade with them for long. But as long as we can get some cash out of them. Quebec, yeah, about a thousand. A thousand or ten. That's pretty good. Now let's build the new Weaver's Cottage. Fleet arrives, the new Mexican fleet. Yep, so all the trade posts are taken up, but I can just sit these on here and increase my trade output. You're not getting metal roads because you're not powerful, you've not, you're not growing enough to justify it just yet. Food shortages are still growing, going up in Mexico, so the towns aren't growing. You can get that. Are you getting cobbled roads? You are getting cobbled roads. Okay, I'm not waiting anymore. Oh, they are backed by all of their allies onto the capital. So let's do a bit of separate diplomacy. Quest piece. Let's 
Because he rushes a war with everyone. Even the United States. Oh, one more turn to fire by rank. Excellent. I'm fairly sure Columbia only has... It's got two ports. A wealthy port. Uh, not a wealthy port. Ooh, they do, they, are, oh, they do have two towns. They have a school up here. And they have an industrial building down here. So I can knock them both down, get a school and a happiness building, and have two universities on the go. Really far away from my gentlemen, but that's the risk you take. Cool. Just end turn. So let's watch Grand Columbia start to really blockade my... Ah, oh, no, Quebec gets stuck in. United States, Britain, good, good, good. People seem to be mostly leaving me alone. Isn't going to go out of its way to send ships to the to the Caribbean. Um, same with Russia. They have built some troops in New Andalusia, um, like the the prime troops. They're probably going to be more militia and native Native American units, which ones have fire by. Um, I should be able to devastate them quite comprehensively. And this turn, actually what I'm going to do is I want to recruit some troops in Mexico City and get ready to ferry them south to support this army. Because right now it's not a full stack. And my Fusilier are like small units. My Fusilier are <laughs> Fusilier. Like Fumadors. If it's, not German, if it's not German or French, it all starts to get bundled up for me. Um, but anyway, yeah, I want to get some troops in Mexico City so I can ship them south in support um, that army just in case they might have a massive army. Good. Fire by rank. Research. Now go and do Ooh, selective breeding. We've got to. I need to build. I need to upgrade my. Ooh, bit of lag. I need to upgrade my farms to produce more food so Mexico can grow. To Santa Fe. Santa Fe is growing, you are growing. So, what I want to do is spend on metal roads just so that I've done it. Then, next turn, I'm going to maybe save up and buy um, walls for Mexico. War weariness? Why are you war weary? We're winning. We're being beastly. That's what we're doing. Greece has been destroyed by the Ottomans. Yes, they've taken Athens. And they'll probably push on to this Native American region, which looks like it's probably going to be fairly pitiful. But by the way, nothing looks like... Nothing too crazy is happening. Well, Spain has one region left. And that is Madrid, so that might be why they're pretty abysmal um, on the colonial front. Hopefully, Britain takes Madrid, or threatens Madrid. If they did, that knocks Spain out of the game. That'd make my job so much easier. Alright, he's still on his way to Panama. Cool, then let's get Union of Lion, Union of Frontiersmen. Then let's get this navy back up to uh, Veracruz. The next turn they'll be in a good spot to reinforce. I don't know what they've got. It'll take me a few turns to get in there, but I can have a look. Fall back, deposit troops, and have them all meet up. Cool. Let's have another round of diplomacy. Request peace. Because sometimes if the the AI is open to just requesting peace. To accepting peace, sorry.
I have to. I have to start. Oh, let's see. I wonder what the implications are of stealing American tech. I don't normally steal tech. It's never really been a thing. I've always just researched it myself and used my gentleman as boosters. So I hope it won't too negatively impact my... Ah, there you go. They're going to raid my port. Fine. Recruit a unit of... Um, Native American infantry to, to hold that for me. <laughs> the United Provinces just keep it... Keep um, growing their Bristol blockade. Cherokee. Hanoverian Navy. Interesting. Just doing a bit of pirating. I would. It's a bit out of the way for my Navy. Don't have them strung out there on their own. I mean, clearly for Hanover, it seems to be working because uh, they're still alive. But I don't want to do that. I'd rather. I'd rather let my trade flow naturally itself. Oh good. I wonder if they're going to go secure the Greek Peninsula. Who has taken this terror? Have they given it away to? By the looks of it, Persia. Maybe it's Grand Columbia. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if it was Grand Columbia. They did. Tra they traded it for something. Could have missed it all this time. Where's Grand Columbia? Well, that's going to become a pirate hellhole imminently. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Oh yeah, Russia secured the Polish border. Oh, it's not even... it's not got anyone. It's not got a garrison. Sweet. Um, I was going to say maybe these guys might be unnecessary, but if they're going to push on to Russia, um, I'd rather have them. So let's embark them. Ooh. Wait there for now. Recruit native muskmen because they are cheaper than militia. No, they're not. Colonial militia are still cheaper. Cheaper to recruit, to um, support. Galleon Brig in 5th San Miguel. San, San Juan Nepoimento. Or Nepoimento. Cool, well, I've not really got anything to spend the money on right now. So I'm going to let this roll over a turn. And it's not going to be enough to build the walls in in uh, Mexico City. Which is, but you play, you play with the hand you're dealt. Ah, so they're garrisoning a fort up in the north, up in the north of their territory, rather than defending their capital from me. They do get a garrison, um, which will probably give them a mortar, which will be utterly, utterly devastating. But that's why I try to be highly mobile. Good. Everyone, leave me alone. Don't attack my trade fleets, and everything will go just according to plan. Hmm. See, I'll be intrigued because I know the AI is definitely different in this game than it was previously. We've seen that just from all the, the region trading at the start. Um, so I'd be interested to see if the the Ottomans actually progress and actually try and attack. Oh. Alliance in Austria and Prussia is broken, so that's probably going to be war declared. Not yet. Get my militia to the port, boot them out. Ooh. I think I wait a turn to get way to turn to get um, walls but the first thing I'm going to do is just all resolve this flea battle oh 
Ooh. Oh, I lost shit. I lost shit, but I gained a galleon, which is... Oh, I didn't even destroy them. Sad face. Let's get them ashore. Can't repair them because it's knackered. I'm going to send these infantry down to go meet up with the, the army. Not we have started recruiting. Two mortars. Whew. But I've got plenty of decent troops and so I'm going to fight it. So let's do this and let's capture Bogota. They do have my artillery, but I don't, I'm not going to hold on that. I'm just be aggressive and move out. I'm use my carry aggressively too. British Army should be a projectile to be fired by the British Navy. I do agree with that sentiment, largely as we're seeing with the naval escort shortages in the Persian Gulf. Right. So let's get the fusil fusil fusiliers in the middle. Set up some artillery out on the flanks just to fire. Colonial line on one flank. Put a unit of militia on the other flanks. Group. back all of my hussars back here charging. I don't want them to charge. I want them to... So I want to swing this door shut. I didn't want to run my cavalry in because they were so... Well, I've only got 45 of them. They had 90 light horse. Focus fire. Shoot the various troops. Oh, that was a devastating shot. Colonial line. <laughs> ah, the artillery is hitting this building. Except for that shell. Let's 
watch the fusil doors. Fusil Eros. Open fire. Because by the looks of it, they do do fire at rank. Oh, yes. These Mexican, no, these colonial troops don't have a chance. So gain control of that house, fire out in all directions. Move them up as reserves, fire them off. My frontiersmen are doing enough targeting this unit of line infantry for now. Ooh, colonial line. Ooh. Hasares, get them back. That'll happen. That'll happen if you don't look after him. Which I didn't. Very small cavalry units. Hit the unit of infantry that charged you. I guess getting there and support my cavalry rapidly before they die too quickly. If they fall back too far, they're going to hit the crossfire of this regiment. Go to see I'm being picked on by my, by my frontiersmen, my veteran frontiersmen now. Ooh, these guys do fire, fire in advance. Let's see how that works. Oh, I'm not, not going to get to see it work. Unfortunately. Well, by the looks of it, that's going to be the end of it. Aha! It's unit of colonial line. Run out of one unit of I just want to see what this fire at fire in advance looks like. So they're within range. Obviously I, I can imagine what it's gonna look like, but the front rank fires. Oh, they retreated. Yeah, they've left the fire. Well, that's still, that would have been quite cool to watch them all kind of move forward like that. Interesting. Ah, oh, look at that. Native Bowman Auxiliary. Ah, 
and a unit of colonial lines still in the centre. Well, hell, let's push up. Let's get my frontiersman back holding this road. There you go, get my conventional colonial line doing fire by rank. Most of them have missed, so charge, because you're going to get annihilated if we don't. They've got skirmish mode on. See this guy? One native guy over there that was on his ass and just slid. Turn on fire in advance from my fusileros. Front rank fires. Second rank. Move up. Take positions. I still think fire by rank is still the most effective. Not going to chase them down now because this is the end. This is the end of their faction. In battle, then onwards to New Andalusia and see if I can make peace with the Russians. Excellent. Only three hundred eighty men lost. The region is mine. Fix the royal palace. Upgrade the roads. Commercial port. Fix this trade port. Nation destroyed, you betcha. Okay, so what mines have they got? Meagy yield. Oh, I want to destroy this one, don't I? And destroy you. I say that, I could actually, because you're, because you're growing. You could do it here. So right now in Antigua, these regions are very poor and poor, so I might just do this. So this goes towards the church school, so they will still keep producing uh, Catholic missionaries. Up here I can build my church nappy units, and that means any gentleman that's born will be closer to my school. So I think that's a good plan. So meg yield, growing, meg yield, high yield. That's what we were after. How happy are you as a people? Not very, but you're not super, super annoyed about industrialization, considering how many mines you have. You're happy, you're happy, you're happy, you're being fixed, you're... Producing 800, plus 900, plus 8 town, we oh, town wealth, plus 1400, even on a meager yield, it's a gold mine. Why not both, or one? Well, Meagio gold mines are still the more, more worthwhile investment. Mining is going to go from four and a half grand to almost five and a half grand when they finish being built. Cool. Juan Gallas, my general, has got better. Barber, minus five percent chance of death at the end of the turn. Cool. Minus one morale. Dang it. But he's a good general. That's what matters. He's only 27 as well. New Granada is captured. Coming for you, Russia. And you, Spain. And let's get my army to replenish as many as it can. Cool. End turn. Ooh, nice, nice stacks near Annapolis. Poor old Quebec. Butting heads with the United States right off the bat. At least they're not pushing west. Not yet. They're giving me time to to, to uh, build my empire and Spain's really under the cosh
Not enough for me to worry about anyway. I'm going to annoy the, 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 the Americans by stealing their tech. But that's a cross I'm going to have to bear. It's like I'll be a 19th century China stealing their tech. Well, 21st century China in <laughs> in the 19th century stealing their tech. Oh, the Knights of St. John have cleared out the entire um, Barbary State's fleet. I'm fairly sure on this mod as well, the Dutchman, the um, Knights of St. John get their cool Knights cavalry, which look pretty badass. The Ottomans beat a force there, whoever they were fighting. I'm just glad the rest of the major powers are actually stuck into fighting rather than, you know, them all kind of getting along and then focusing on me because I'm the human player. So what have they got? Big proper stack with some US volunteer infantry regiment, some cavalry and whatnot. Cool. American infantry mercenaries and long riflemen. Cool. Yeah, I'm building the presidential. Well, they got the presidential palace. They could probably be building Independence Hall, probably. Cool. So, happiness building school. And I know you're not going to like that, but you're already pretty happy. I'll probably need to start building like militia in there just just to make sure they don't get too too many ideas. Like this army, I'm pretty sure they can't leave. Nope, sure as sure as hell can't. Not for a while. Cool, good growth, good population growth. Sort of. Point eight. How's Mexico doing? Point zero six flat. Food shortages are going to get worse, so I need to get nine turns to get the new food tech. Holy moly! Cool. But anyway, looking at the the timer, I think we've ended the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.